Hello, my fellow scientists and also fans of Distilled Spirits and the classic dystopias. Today I want to talk about Brave New World and especially about the two cultures that are portrayed and finally to talk about how aging is discussed in the book because I think it's relevant to current technological trends. So, thing number one, the world state. I made a cocktail to represent the world state. The world state is highly indulgent. They have drugs and distractions and lots of sexy entertainment. And every weekend they have a drug-fueled orgy as a sort of cultural sacrament. And to represent all of this, I made a bourbon shake that I found pretty good, actually. Let's talk about that. We're gonna put on our mixology lab coat and set out our ingredients. For this, we're going to need half a cup of strawberry ice cream, quarter cup of frozen strawberries, quarter cup of frozen bananas, half a cup of milk, one ounce Irish whiskey or bourbon. I'm going to use black bush, but I've tasted red bush. It's also delightful. Half an ounce of Kahlua. We're going to pour all these into a blender and blend. Your choice of whiskey is up to you. A good bourbon will do you in great stead, but I like the mellow Irish for my particular taste. Pour that into a glass and garnish with some homemade grenadine. The presentation is beautiful and the drink is delicious. So all in all, the world state would be a pretty fun place to exist. Even the people who are oppressed objectively in the world state, essentially slaves, love it. They get drugs, they get entertainment, they get to work 35 hours a week, and other than that, they're, they're free to do what they want. They don't have much choice, but they love their slavery. Therein is the dystopian aspect of the world. Not the hedonism itself per se, but rather that people are conditioned against their will to love their slavery. Their psychology has been designed to make them happy in the world they are given rather than designing their society to make people happy and to give people meaning. And therein is the dystopia. So although the Soma shake may be delicious, uh, well, you wouldn't want to live entirely on that. Now you can contrast that with the Malpais Reservation. Now, the people in the Malpais are called savages in the book, and that's pretty racist. I think that's deliberate. I think that we are not meant to see the world state as being good or legitimate. And so when they call people by a racist name, we're meant to be very suspicious of that. Uh, they call them savages because they are less developed. But developed in what way? Well, specifically developed in the way that they still have babies, the old fashioned way, right? They don't grow babies in tubes and then decant them. They get pregnant and give birth and have mothers and fathers. And that doesn't exist in the world state. And that, that anyone who chooses to live the old fashioned way will be regarded as a savage. So maybe it's more of a bigoted statement than specifically racist, but it's still awful. And coming from a society that conditions infants with electric shocks to hate nature and like merchandise, that judgment that these people are savage is garbage. And it was meant to be taken as such. So that being said, what are the cultural characteristics of the Malpais? Well, they are much less hedonistic, almost to the point of masochism. They are ascetic, at least as they are seen by the world state citizens. And they have a drink called Mezcal. So I made a little cocktail <laughs> inspired by this, and it turned out to be pretty masochistic. Here is my mezcal sour. For this, we're gonna prepare our garnish by making some lemon zest and then cut our lemon in half to prepare that. Get your one egg white into your shaker and then juice one lemon. Add three quarters ounce of light agave nectar followed by 1.5 ounces of mezcal going to dry shake those to combine, no ice to begin with, and then add your ice and shake again to chill and dilute. You can garnish Langostura bitters if you like, or you can garnish with that 
zest and give that a try. This one is not sweet or delicious. It tastes a lot like barbecue potato chips and sweaty feet. Now, if you don't think that sounds delicious, I agree, it's a little hard to take, but you can modify it if you get a better mezcal or you use a nice Blanco tequila, you'll have a good time. Here you see my preferred version along with my mixology notebook. In the preferred version, I use an ounce and a half of Blanco tequila. I use 100% blue agave Luna Azul, which is totally fine. Three quarters ounce blight agave nectar, egg white, and the juice of one fresh lime rather than lemon. And I find this version to be absolutely smooth and delightful. Having taken these two sets of values portrayed in Brave New World, I want to talk about aging. In the world state, people age very differently than either Malpais or our contemporary world. People age essentially staying young for as long as possible. They remain youthful and full of life until they are you know, in the late middle age, early old age, and then decline extremely rapidly and die. So technically the, the terms that are being used now is to, they have expanded their health span while not expanding or even contracting their lifespan. So instead of 85 years, 40 of which are spent in slow decline, they have 65 years, but all of them are in very good health, youthful. And I think that's something we need to examine. Do we choose to expand health span at the expense of lifespan, we're starting to find the technologies that are going to allow us to do that. Or would we rather have an extended lifespan, but that requires more care? And it seems like people I've talked to would actually choose the brave new world, the world state solution, that they value their youth and vitality more than just more years on this planet. And I don't know how I feel about that. So anyway, food for thought. Hope you found that interesting. Bit of a change for me. I uh, will probably be doing more like this. So if you like that kind of thing, please do tune in next time. This has been Peter Allen for the Allen Lab.